Okay, so here's what we're starting off with. This is stock, fourth gear, to stage one, fourth gear. Now, something I want you to pay real close attention to. Power up top. Now, I'm going to go through and move this over to our engine speed. Okay, so you see this? We don't have near the power falling off up top that we used to have before. This is a very flat curve right through here. Holds all the way out to 5600 RPM. Uh, initially starts its fall off right around 58 and then it tapers off a little bit. So we're gonna go right here to red line. So it's 150 versus 209 horsepower. Sorry, 158 versus 209 horsepower at 6200 RPM. So 51 horsepower, more or less, at that point in the curve, that's huge. Uh, torque curve, got the torque curve really, really flat. Again, small turbo, I do not want to bring this thing on like a heart attack, I don't want to have it just slamming you in the back of your seat, we want to have it be a very linear acceleration. So we've got uh, peak torque, uh, peak torque is right around 242 foot-pounds versus 207. Again, if we're gonna come over here and take a look, I think our biggest torque gain is gonna probably be right here, 172 to 242 foot-pounds. Uh, bad with my math because it's really late tonight. Uh, 42, 70 foot-pounds of torque, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's right around 70 foot-pounds worth of torque picked up at 4,900 RPM. So this is this is good. This is impressive. I like this. This are really good results. What's important? You have to excuse me here, I'm going to be moving around on the screen. So, I mean, let's take a look at this real quick. This is what I've done on the dyno so far. Uh, I think we're 200 and, yeah, 250 poles on the dyno with the shop car, getting all the different tune results sorted. So, what we have here is this is our stock 345. Now, I have to move this over to speed so you can see it. So, there's our stock. That's third, fourth, and fifth gear, right? So uh, right up here we're about 180 foot-pounds. This is 180 foot-pounds of torque here. So if you look, this is torque right here. This is torque right here. This is torque right here, okay? This is your torque side. The, the numbers here are your torque. Over here we got our horsepower side. Horsepower is gonna be these ones climbing to red line. So you see how this climbs up here, falls off, climbs up here, kind of falls off. So, when we started doing our tuning, initially we had our stage zero. I'm gonna go find my stage zero tune. So stage zero looked like that. Big torque spike, hit like a sledgehammer. I didn't like it. I really, really did not like how it felt. Uh, we had some power falling off in third, little bit of gain, little bit of gain here. Uh, 10 horsepower gain out of stage zero. Fifth gear had some decent gains. I think fifth gear we were sitting right around 20 horsepower. So 20 horsepower in fifth gear. Stage zero just was just, a, didn't touch any boost, adjusted some time and adjusted some fuel. Nothing fantastic, okay? So stage zero plus. Stage zero plus is where we started seeing some actual gains. Again, we have that big, huge torque, torque hit. I, I just hate that huge torque hit. It's the small turbo coming on, had some decent horsepower gains through here. Uh, let's look at fourth gear right here. What do we have? Fourth gear we picked up, uh, picked up 20 horsepower. Fifth gear, we really started to see some gains over here in fifth gear. Fifth gear, you're looking at uh, 25, 26 horsepower for fifth gear. Again, not real impressive. I, I liked the gains. The, everyone who had the tune felt the differences. It was a good tune. So you can see the comparison there. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And now we're going to take a look at our stage one. So there's stage one, three, four, and five. Now that is what it's supposed to look like. Gains everywhere. No huge torque spike. So what do we got? What do we got for gains? Let's take a quick peek. 
So right there, there's uh, 27, 28 horsepower in third gear. Okay, and let's come over here. Ooh, fat fingered it, sorry. What do we got here? 84, that's 16 plus 21. 36, uh, again, it's really late. Math is horrible. Uh, 15 plus, uh, 16 plus 21, sorry. So almost, almost 40 horsepower. Uh, looking at 35 horsepower, if I'm doing my math right. 30, sorry, 37 horsepower. So, that is 37 horsepower at, oh, sorry, at 84 miles per hour. Now, not bad. Let's come over here to fifth gear. What are we seeing here in fifth? So we're looking at 174 versus 211 horsepower. And that has there now we're looking at some decent gains. We're looking at 25, 35, 36 horsepower again. But as you can see, we're not losing any power. Power is really not falling off. Too terribly hard. 209 horsepower versus 167 horsepower. So getting upwards of 40 horsepower in fifth gear gains. So the important thing to take note of in this right here. You see how the factory curve stays flat? When you start turning the boost up in these cars, you start to have power fall off. A lot of people have said you can't sustain you know, 200 horsepower at Redline with this car. We are sustaining 200 horsepower through fourth, fifth, and over here in third gear we do fall down. Third gear is a pretty abrupt gear. Uh, I have not seen very many poles that have exceeded 200 horsepower in third gear, but as you can see the curve continues to stay flat. That's important. That is very important because this is going to be what makes a fast car. Sure, I can pull up a, a dyno chart where we made you know 275 foot-pounds of torque and 240 horsepower. The power falls off early. The power falls off incredibly early. We don't want power falling off. What makes a car fast is where it's going through the gears. When you shift, move this over to engine speed. So when you shift. The car drops down to 5,500, right? So you're gonna go from here to here. 5,000 RPM. So I am gonna highlight this. Watch this. Okay? That's your power curve. When you're shifting, you're going through the gears, that's where you stay. You stay in that, that band. If you have a huge torque hit, and you, you have all this good feeling in the beginning, right here, is you're like, oh my god, it's so fast because the power comes on so hard and hits so hard. Once you put that car in the quarter mile, that car is going to be as slow as a turd because all of the power was in the beginning. You're not going to race from 40, you're not going to be shifting at 4,200 RPM to stay in the fat of that torque curve. You're going to run the car out because horsepower is what makes the car fat go down the track fast. Torque will get you out of the hole, horsepower will just make you roll down the track. So these right here, this is the, what's important. You know, this is a super long video. I'm sorry about all the talking I'm doing. I'm just trying to emphasize on how important it is that you have horsepower that carries all the way out to Redline. Again, this is a Stage 1 ES tune. I have two customers that have ran it. I'm going to throw up the review on those as well. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's a quick review written by one of the first stage tune testers. I'm going to, it's a big review, so I'm just going to let you guys read through it here on the screen. I may post it up in the video, too. There's that review. And I got another review. Hold on just a second.
Again, these are just initial reviews for our customer. We lent this out to gave this out to two people and all right, let's see if I can kind of sneak in here. This is just from tonight. So there you got the two reviews we had written tonight. Uh, the stage one is what the Elantra should have came with. So being that we got the stage one out to two people, you guys can make the decision. Uh, the stage one tune, if you're already an existing customer, to get stage one, it's $200. Uh, if you are not an existing customer, we'll have a bundle package that so we do stage zero and stage one in if you buy a tuning dongle from us. Thanks for watching.